skipping this top one again that's the goody one so they're gonna get loud so let's jump to the middle oh, this doesn't open all the way because these bottles are tall and it's preventing me from pulling it out any further I did have this nice neat and folded but um, I've been having this dresser for about six months and um, it doesn't stay neat and folded like I want either so microfiber towels for their bath they have three it comes in a pack of three from Amazon um, I just rotate those so that stays it was supposed to stay nice and folded in this tray this long tray but they just pile up there now again from Baby's RS this is the uh, cup that you know you wet the head this definitely works I don't really use it for that but I just fill it up with water and I go over their body when um, when I don't want to turn the shower head thing back on I just fill this up and wet them before I shampoo them or if the shampoo starting to get a little dry I just wet their body again um, couple of what is this towels I guess um, oh that's Paris's old towel that I would wrap around her to wash her face it's microfiber but it's really I need to toss it like this absorbs nothing anymore it's basically a rag that I can dust with now yeah I probably need to replace that another like soft microfiber towel I just use this one is what I use like if they um, if their tissues are really messy and I have to do a wash really quick I grab this instead of like their nicer ones that I use for the bath um, a little glove dry um, microfiber this was supposed to be for their paws like when it's raining and stuff but again I mostly use this for the tushies if I have to quickly dry up that area I grab I go for this I don't know why just it's there I just do it um, nail trim nail clippers I mean I want to see about getting a nail file or maybe a human nail file let me know what you guys do for uh, nail clippings uh, for trimming I'm sorry because Paris absolutely hates this Bisu was good about it and now she's starting to pull away so I I think if I start filing their nails it would be better can you guys leave me a comment and let me know what you do as far as that or any tips for trimming the nails because right now that's kind of a headache so but I just I do it because I have to and I'm not scared to do it it's just they're getting skittish so those are their nail clippers um, back here I go through a lot of shampoos now I have to be honest I wasn't um, aware that if this kind of shampoo is good for their skin or it strips the oils or blah 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 I didn't do any of that I was just like I want to find a shampoo that feel makes them feel soft and it smells good so when I got Paris again the spa lavish that I was using ever since I had Paris um, Tropical Clean, which is the same old well, spa lavish Tropical Clean, they had this shampoo for um, for the whole body so I just got it. it smelled good I mean I guess it worked okay as far as um, making her feel soft I didn't notice her coat getting any whiter or anything like that it just smelled good. I always end up ha using up all the shampoo and having leftover conditioner. So I just kept it in the back to keep it with my um, my future shampoo review that I was hoping to do a video on. I just kept that back there. And the bottles are so massive I have to lay them down. Um, what else? Okay, back here. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Ice on ice in this is like my favorite. This is the Pure Paws No Rinse Express for, I think they kind of target mostly for um, urine stains, like on their coats. This is, love it. I just, it, again, it doesn't have a scent. It doesn't leave e neither Paris or Bisu's coat um, greasy looking. It dries quickly and it takes away any color like if they have a messy poop and it gets on their fur I take them to the bathroom wet it wet a cotton ball with this like saturated cotton ball with this stuff 
swipe it over that area to clean up the fur dry it up and they're good to go and you would never know they had an accident so this is my favorite I've been having this shoot probably about a year and a half I don't know I want to get another one if I can find a link to this I will link it below so next we have this is the fresh eyes eye wash this is what I was using prior to using the butler shine I much I don't know why but I just prefer this over the butler shine butler shine supposed to be a little bit stronger with the boric acid acid in it but for some reason I don't find that it's fading the tear stains as much as this was when I was using it and it might be because I did the change over to trying to do her face washing here and I really couldn't apply it or the butler shine I'm talking about I couldn't really apply it like I normally would have the um, fresh eyes but I don't know I, I like this I've used it for since Paris was a puppy and it was fading her stains so I'll probably go back to this after the butler shine um next what is this precious drops I bought the sample pack um, of Chris Chris Christensen's spectrum 10 and I think that came in there with it uh, as well as the thick and thicker again all of this stuff like the shampoo stuff I want to do a separate video just to tell you about it and review it and how I liked it so if I tell you now what's the point of doing that video later right okay then I have this um, serum um, this is one of my favorite ones to put on them uh, before I blow dry them to help protect their uh, coat and skin I like the way it smells it's it is oily when you first apply it, but a little bit goes a long way so that's kind of my favorite one to use and I've been using that since forever more shampoo day to day this one smells like coconut somebody told me it did not this definitely smells like coconut and I overuse this because I don't like the way it smells I'm trying to get rid of it so I I put I probably use way too much of it on them but again I'm trying to get rid of it I wanted to get this because it had oatmeal in it and when Bisu had her little itch and spell you know oatmeal shampoos are the thing to to go with and this is the conditioner the conditioner does not smell like coconut it has a cleaner scent so that one is better I uh, tried this out for Bisu's itchiness, some skin medicated shampoo. Oh gosh, did not work by the way. Um, Pure Paws, I mean not Pure Paws, Rock and Paws. That's the conditioner. These bottles are so tall I have to keep them in the back. And then this is the shampoo. Um, this is their ear cleaner works fine for me just drop them in rub the ears and dry them out with a cotton ball does the job what is this oh the ear powder this is the powder that I put on I can drop this one in Paris's ear and I can pull out the hairs no problem so that's what I use to pluck the hair out of their ears Spectrum 10, the little sample size, shampoo and conditioner. And I have Show Premium's Coat Therapy. Can you guys guess um, where I got the idea to try this? <laughs> Stasi. Okay, this smells good. I do like it, and I use this before I blow dry them. Um, I just rotate between these two. The, these two products are supposed to do the same thing. I just rotate between the two so I like them equally it's just that I've been using this one longer you know how you have that one product it's like you're expecting it to stand up to this because it's what you know how it works or you know you know what to expect from it but it, it does the job I like the way it smells and you know don't mind it at all so between the two I just swap out whatever I feel like in that day to use and back here is an equivalent to where did it go the pure pause it's a rinseless 
Except for this is Show Off from Chris Christensen. This stuff is strong. <laughs> when you spray it, or at least for me, I don't know if this happens to anyone else that has tried it, I start coughing. So if I start coughing, what is it doing to my girls when I'm spraying it on them? Can they breathe that in? Are they having issues with it? Um, I use this now if I have to strictly for their paws, which I'm terrible at walking them, but if they have to walk on the dirty street, I spray this. I would spray that on their paws and dry them off. But I don't, e I don't even know. I really don't even use this because I don't walk them. It's like I go to this if I, if I have to use a rinseless shampoo. Don't know. Ha do, do you guys have suggestions? What do I do with this? How do I get rid of the rest? Or what do you use the rest for if you have it? Um, let me know. Uh, could definitely use some suggestions there. Wow, I just cleaned up my entire drawer. All right, I'm pausing the camera so I can pick up and then I'll move on. Okay, I have that all picked up. So now the last drawer here is kind of like my backup um, storage drawer of stuff that I hardly ever use. So here is, this is the, um, again, a baby, I don't want to call it a baby bag, but um, it was advertised on Etsy, excuse me, as a... Um, like you can put this bag in the nursery and I just kept it on top of the TV stand so now it just stays down below with stuff in it <laughs> to store things that I don't use um, this is a little finger toothbrush again for toddlers this is how I started off brushing Paris's teeth and I think it came in a pack of two so I just figured I'd be using this on Bisu but Bisu was just such the sweet angel that I was just good to use a toothbrush right away and she didn't complain. So didn't ever open this. So that stayed in the pocket. This was the toothbrush I did, the other finger toothbrush that I had for Paris. I always kept in the little plastic bag. Med uh, medicine droppers. Oh, just a variety of sizes and measurements. I don't think I have anything on the size. Um, Paris's receiving blanket from when she was a puppy. Her breeder um, sent this. What, mommy? Her breeder gave this to me um, when she was a puppy. I guess to have something from her litter mates and from her mom. Um, baby wipes for days. I have backup baby wipes. And I use anything that says hypoallergenic and it's. Um, unscented that's what I go for so just baby wipes down there because I use this every night and I don't think there's any oh these bowls when I got Bisu that she uh, her breeder recommended giving her um, goat's milk and I was like uh, I never bought a sauce or anything like that to give it to her in so I just started using this well then don't you know Paris thought it was food so then I started doing wet food in these and um, when I was cooking for them I would just serve it to them in these and I just marked it so I'll know which bowl belonged to who but um, they don't, I don't do the wet food as much as I used to I'll be showing you what they eat in another video um, it's just because I'd have to wash your face again. So, and sometimes you just have to have the time for that. I just, I don't most of the time. So, kibble it is. And I just keep that there in case I ever decide to do that or do something special for them. Um, I know where their bowl is. So, this bag, which I'll probably um, start putting there morning grooming things in here so it would be a lot easier to haul things to the bathroom since now I have to go back to the bathroom so I'll probably use that bag again for that. Um, behind that I have another bag for haircuts. Um, Paris stays in a puppy cut because she does not like having anything to do with grooming. She doesn't like to be brushed or combed she doesn't care for her face being washed, but she has no choice. She That has to get done. But um, 
a long coat on Paris, I would love to see what she looks like in long coat, but she's, she's not like that. So shears, I have two shears. Um, once one of these is thin in shears, the other is just like, I think seven inch shears, um, straight shears that I use to trim her coat. Whoa. Inside I have the battery charger for my wall clippers. I'm going to need another pair of clippers because I dropped these so much and I've already replaced this. This is the um, guard. I've already replaced this twice, I think, but the blade changes here. The length, you can change um, how long the blade goes up. And it's a um, cordless one and you just push it up. So for Paris, um, where is it? I have metal attachments, the clipper attachments. This is the longest one. Is it an inch and a half? I don't know. So I put this over the clippers and I go in the summer, I go to the shortest setting to go to run over her body. In the winter, it goes to the longest setting. And I trim her about once every two months now. But I find that these don't cut as well as they did when I first got them. So, and I, I clean them and I, you know, oil them and do the things that I should to keep them up. But I, I don't know. Maybe um, I may try another set of clippers. I saw someone on Instagram that, well, of course she's a groomer, but a dog groomer. But um, she has clippers that are attached to a vacuum hose. And I'm like, yes, that I want. I don't care how much it is. I need it. Because Paris's hair goes everywhere. It's like feathers all over the place. So that's the um, battery for it, the backup battery. So I plug that in. Um, okay. And it looks like that's all that I keep in there. I have these scaredy cut little snips with the ball tip. I wanted to try to trim around Bisu's paws again. Bisu's hair is diff or her coat is different from Paris's. So um, I find the clippers when I do the, I use the clippers on Bisu's paws and they don't maybe get everything as like they should. So I use these to trim around her paws and the hairs that are um, starting to grow over her paw, her paw pads. They work all right. I mean, they're not like nice shears but I didn't want to use my shears they're long and I was scared I was gonna if she moved that I was gonna just um, snip her I have no idea what that is or what it belongs to I think that's just you know see that's the little brush and I think I have the oil down there too I'll clean that up next this is um, I think it's called a whelping mat. I got this. I have this in two sizes. I have a large one that stays out by me because I have wood floors now and I just lay it on the floor for the girls to lay by me with their toys or whatever chew thing they have. But the large one and this smaller one I put inside of Paris's um, X pin when I, she was a puppy and this is what I use to protect my floors for in case she had an accident as a puppy and um, it I mean it worked it still if she pee peed a lot it still ran through and I had to wash it but um, I would take this with me if we went out back in the day before she was terrible with barking um, when we went to some dog events local dog events I just take that with me set it down on the grass and we'd use that um, to sit on so we'd have an, a place to sit um, but I don't really use it anymore, so it just stays folded up. Here in this bag is the Martha, Martha Stewart's Pets. Um, this was, I believe, a grooming tote. And I use this mostly as a travel bag. And I made a video, I did a video on this a while ago. Probably the same stuff is still in it. I'm not going to go through it again. So that stays down there. Again, I barely do anything with the girls. So, um, 
flea spray. Um, this works. It does not permanently remove the fleas. It's just like a, if you see them itching a lot, you spray this on them. I'm going to just tell you what it's how you're supposed to use it, and I'm going to tell you how I use it. You're supposed to spray this on them, get it down to the skin without getting it, in, of course, into their eyes um, or to the private areas. And then it's supposed to kill the fleas that they have on them. Yes, that works. But what I do, because I can't stand the scent <laughs> again, or are you surprised? No. Um, if I see that um, they have fleas, because I stopped using their topical, which was a flea and heartworm combination topical, besides the price that it was getting so expensive, um, just been doing more research, hearing feedback from customers and other pet owners um, that they've been doing trying natural remedies. And I was like, well, you know, my dog, my the dog that I had prior to Paris, who lived to be 20, she we never treated her, you know, for fleas or anything like that. We never gave her any medication except for um, she did have her rabies shot yearly. Other than that, we didn't even treat her for heartworms. I know that sounds terrible, but um, she was an inside dog. She only went out to potty, and she was back in the house. And basically, Paris and Bisu are just like that. They're inside, and they only go out to potty. Um, so, and I treat the yard for fleas and all of that. So anyway, if I see Bisu scratching a lot, I'll wait until it's her bath day. I wet her first, then I spray this generously all over her. Scrub it, get it nice and foamy because it does bubble. I let it sit on her coat for a couple of minutes and I just keep rubbing it, you know, because I don't want her to get cold. So I just keep rubbing her while it sits on her. I rinse it off and then I shampoo her. And sure enough, I see like a flea or two that was on her. Same for Paris. Paris rarely gets fleas. It's mostly Bisu, I guess, because of her long coat. But it works, but it doesn't prevent it. So it's like she can go outside in five minutes and get fleas again. So... But it does work. Um, you know, let me know what you guys have been doing. If you're if you're not treating um, fleas like with a topical, and you're doing something natural, what are you doing? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you. Um, here is their Heart Guard, um, their heartworm medication. I give to them every other month. And what is this? Um, that was some medication from the vet for when these two had like a bad itchy spell. And this is the container of the metal attachments. I don't use any of these because they're too short. I thought maybe if I give Bisu a puppy cut, which I'm chickening out, I want her to stay in a long coat forever now. I thought maybe I would have to use this for her. But um, I don't use any of these, so I may decide to sell the rest. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just hanging on to it because I feel like the minute I get rid of it, I'm going to be like, oh, now I need that. So that's what's in this drawer. Okay, so in here are their treats. I do a large variety of treats. I'm glad they're being quiet. I just put their toothbrush and toothpaste here because I don't have room anywhere else and it's at the top. I can just grab it and go. So I just... Literally in the mornings, this is the first thing I grab. Again, I'll have that gray washcloth here. It sits on the washcloth and good to go. This is their backup toothpaste because I'm already running out. I was finally able to get the um, CET Vanilla Mint toothpaste for them. And they seem to really enjoy the flavor. So I just stuck with it and got another one. But um, this is the one I'm like way at the top. I squeeze from the bottom up. The, my only complaint about this toothpaste is the tubing. When it when it folds, it cracks or it, toothpaste will ooze out of there and it gets everywhere and sticky. So if they would change the tubing, this would be hands down like my favorite. Um, but yeah. So this is again another little votive candle holder. I just keep their toothbrushes in there. This I got a toothbrush... Um, to protect their tooth. I don't like things sitting out and getting nasty and dirty and full of dust. So it gets covered. Um, the inside of this does get washed um, every now and then. And I dry it up good. But um, 
Uh, this one's for Bisu, the little cookie monster. And this is a toddler toothbrush. Okay, here it is. So this is what her, what her toothbrush looks like. Go here so you can see. She kind of chews on her bristles. <laughs> but um, I want to get another one. So this again, uh, Babies R Us. <laughs> Went right next door and picked this up. I don't know why I don't like using like dog toothbrushes. I guess because they're so big and bulky. And then um, Paris's, she has Bert and Ernie. And um, yeah, so that was that's her toothbrush. So what I was saying about the coconut oil when I'm done giving it to them, that sits in there. And when I go to the bathroom, when I'm rinsing their toothbrushes, this gets rinsed with soap and water and dried and puts gets back in that Ziploc bag. Um, all right. These drawers that I got from TJ Maxx, oh geez, I think they were 21 ounce jars. I don't remember now. It's been a while since I've been having them. And I only bought six because I thought six was more than enough. Yeah, right. Are my girls spoiled or what? You guys know um, already from a past video that I love Fruitables for them. I like the crunchy treats. I don't mind occasionally giving them a soft treat, but I just feel like that adds to, like, tartar buildup, and I rather crunchy, like, helps break, will break that up and clean their teeth better. So they get this after their bath. Um, I mix up the flavors. Oh, here they come. They're sitting. <laughs> I'm running low on these two. Um, this one I like a lot, the blueberry and pumpkin, so I have a a fresh bag of that um, this was new for me when I went to PetSmart the um, <laughs> Neutro the carrot one I had the peanut one, peanut butter one before so I tried carrots because they like raw carrots uh, to begin with so they get that occasionally Old Mother Hubbard um, these are actually I think from Canada um, but I like the ingredients in them where, do, where on here does it say Canada? I thought I read that. But anyhow, yeah. They get one like this at night. And let me tell you how spoiled they are. They get this after I brush them out at night. About two hours later, Paris will start crying and bugging me. And I follow her and she comes and sits. So I give her this and then Bisu follows. So I give her like one or two. Um... And, you know, sometimes they get a variety of these three when she begs for them later at night. <laughs> these are the um, good dog treats. And I have my tags here. Apple, so I know what flavor they are in the brand. And these are the blueberry ones. These are the tiny ones, so. I'll give them a couple of these. So these are small. Thank you. She's like, Ma, why are you being so stingy? You usually give me like two or three. All right, I'll close that back up later. So these are the apple, these are the blueberry of the good dog. Um, I tried cheese, please. And they love these. These are like, um, they remind me of rice cakes. Like the, the consistent, like the way they look and the feel of them. They're like mini rice cakes. Um, but they love these, so sometimes I'll give them that when she barks at night, um, or begs. These are more of the fruitables, so this, oh, wait, where are I? I can't see you out of this camera view. This is the apple bacon. This is Bisu's favorite. Um, I prefer, of course, I would think, oh, they're going to like all this fruit stuff. No, Bisu wants legit bacon. She's like, where's the meat? So Bisu gets this one, like two or three of these, whereas Paris will get one of each of these to break it up. And this one is the pumpkin and apple. And back here I have pumpkin and banana. So that's their treat um, drawer. So they have a lot. And I always replenish and restock and try to give them different treats to try out. So, all right. So here's one last look over of the dresser. It fits the purpose as far as having to brush them. I have room on top, so it does work for that. And I, 
you know, I, I'm comfortable with putting them up here to do that. And it does serve the purpose for that and doing their top knots. But as far as washing their face in the morning, I do have to go back into the bathroom to do that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little update about their grooming um, dresser. So please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any comments or questions. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.